you can make that just a whole episode. Cool. Because that you can do whether you're building a car or not. Yeah. If you just want to change out your clip fluid. Cool. Yeah, we'll just do that. <laughs> Putting the clutch line on. Clutch line? Yep. Cool. And then filling the fluid up and bleeding it. Alright. I have no idea how to do that. I'll show you. Thank you. <laughs> cool. What are we looking at? What is that? Alright. Just this before, before we install, I want to show you the inside. Wait, this is the clutch line, right? Yep. Okay, cool. The bolt, this is called a banjo bolt actually. It has a hole in it. And then the center of the bolt is hollow. Hmm. So the clutch fluid. Goes through the line, goes into that hole, mm. and then out into the sleeve cylinder. Mm. I always thought that this hole needed to be lined up perfectly with that, but it doesn't, because there is actually a groove. Cool. Yeah, there's a groove. See that, it? Yeah. There's a, a groove right it's there. Cut out in there so the fluid can actually go 360 degrees around it, so that hole doesn't need to be lined up perfectly. That's smart. Yep. Cool. What do we got to do? All right. Clutch line here. Clutch line. Same, pretty much same as a brake line. Got this guy here. It goes into this little C-clip thing. Mm -hmm. And then you have the U-clip here. Hmm. That clips into there. Ah, uh, it's exactly like a brake line. Yeah. Yep, there she goes. So, she's on. Alright, so now we're down there. There is this little bracket here. And there's a hole right there that that mounts to with this bolt. So, that goes there. Tighten that guy down. That one is 12 millimeter. She's tight. Now, put that line back on. There needs to be a washer on both sides. One's on the bolt side, and then there'll be another washer on the other side of this once the bolt goes through it. Because that's what gets you your nice seal. Hmm. Now put that bolt in. Yeah. Looks like you want to get that thing going. Uh, I want to say like your oil pan bolt, tight but not too tight. Get it tight and then give it one little. Half a crank extra. So there's tight and then one little extra. Oh. Yeah. What else we gotta do? Now we gotta fill it up and bleed it. So what's this stuff? This is this is clutch fluid. What? Slash brake fluid. Because they're both the same thing. Right? DOT3. Was... Your owner's manual will tell you what you need to. Good old owner's manual. They don't know when you go to the store. Now I just need to locate my clutch reservoir. I was looking for the clutch fluid reservoir. Yeah. But turns out that they just use the brake fluid reservoir. Huh. And they have a separate line running from the brake fluid reservoir into the clutch. So you follow this line right here? Yep. This line comes up underneath the battery and then this line goes into the Brake fluid reservoir. That is your brake fluid reservoir. Yep, so they use the same container. Alright, so we're just putting it in there. Yeah. <laughs> Funnels are your friend. It doesn't really take that much, does it? No, it's not a lot. But it'll probably drain quite a bit of it when we bleed it through. Hey Ryan, what the fuck is that thing? This is a brake line bleeder. Read the description, a vacuum brake bleeder. This is a, a 
a vacuum brake bleeder. Yep. But it'll work for the clutch since that's pretty much the same thing as brake line. Yeah. This is so you can do this with one person instead of two people having somebody in there pushing down the clutch pedal while the other guy's out here unscrewing the bleeder valve. Oh, that's, is that right? Yeah. Yeah, fuck that. And my bleeder valve's right here. What, this little nub thing? Yeah, this little thing. It's got a little rubber cap on it. You gotta take the little rubber cap off. And there she is. All right, and you gotta bleed that. You just loosen it, and that allows the fluid to come out of the hole, and then the hole on top of it. Okay. So. How much uh, fluid do you normally have to bleed? Um, until there's no more bubbles. You'll see it'll be going through here, and you can look through the line. And you know, once you have a steady stream of fluid going, then you know there's no more bubbles. I got you. But first you gotta crack it. Alright. She's cracked. So now you take this end of this hose here. Stick it over the bleeder valve. Plug your air in. Powered by the air compressor. Yep. Alright, so once you turn that on and it starts sucking the fluid out, mm -hmm. it's going to drain your reservoir. So while it's doing that, you'll have to fill it back up. And then, so you get a nice steady stream coming out. Alright. So, do it. Do it. That's it for the clutch. Actually, test it out before you start. Can you go in there? What? Sorry. See if this works. See. Come on, put it on there. It's definitely compressing. Oh, I got a little bit. Yep. Yep. There we go, dude. Yeah, buddy. That's a clutch pedal. Cool. It's working, right? Perfect. Yeah, dude, keep your clutch work, huh? See if I can remember how it felt. It was the same as it used to be. Pretty much. Yeah. Yeah. Perfect. Yeah. I drove a freaking 1973 Porsche race car the other day with the cable clutch, so that's probably what I'm used to. So we're good now? Yeah. So that's how to. That's a clutch. Yeah. Sweet. Yeah. Clutch is good. Thanks for watching this episode of Mills Garage. Make sure to like and comment below, share the video, and we'll see you next time.